Hey everyone. I'm excited to be sharing with you today a sneak preview of William Shakespeare's Star Wars, The Merry Rise of Skywalker by Ian Desher. So this is the last installment of the William Shakespeare's Star Wars series, and it's hard to say goodbye to such an incredible series, but I hope you'll agree that this finale will be worth the wait. So the author Ian has been getting better with every single book, and it's truly such a joy to edit him and to get to play around in the world of Star Wars. If you're not familiar, what Ian does is he takes the Star Wars movies and reimagines them as Shakespearean dramas, complete with authentic meter and rhyme, old-timey woodcut illustrations, stage directions, and plenty of fun Easter eggs. So unfortunately, I don't have the book with me at the moment because it's at the printer as we speak, but hopefully our lovely design team can flash the cover on the screen. I do have the previous book in the series, William Shakespeare's Jedi the Last, and you can see how these books are laid out like play scripts. And I'll show you just one of the illustrations. These are all by Nicholas Delort, who I think just does such an amazing job of blending the Shakespearean aesthetic with the Star Wars aesthetic. So one thing I think you should know is that Ian doesn't get a sneak preview of, of these films. For The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and most recently, The Rise of Skywalker, he has waited anxiously to see them in theaters with everybody else. He sees them on opening night, he takes notes, and then he goes home and starts writing immediately because um, this film premiered in December and it's being published this July. So I am just in awe at the speed with which he puts these books out without sacrificing any of the quality. I swear he thinks in iambic pentameter and he makes it look easy, but it's really not. Not only does he closely follow the film scripts, but he is an expert on Shakespearean meter, grammar, and vocab, and is extremely faithful to both the source material and the conventions of Elizabethan drama. He also fills his books with extensive Easter eggs for both Shakespeare and Star Wars fans alike. He sprinkles in famous Shakespearean lines at appropriate moments. He's always hiding Star Wars-themed acrostics in the text. Um, and I would just love for students to study Ian Desher's work one day because the texts are so intricate and there's tons of stuff in there that I don't even notice until he points it out to me. And I read each of these books numerous times. And working with Lucasfilm is also amazing because every single person there is so passionate and so knowledgeable and they share with Ian this incredible attention to detail. And for an example of this, they noticed that on the front cover of Rise of Skywalker, uh, the radar dish of the Millennium Falcon was rectangular when it was supposed to be round. And so we, we fixed that. Um, but keep in mind that this is a tiny portion of the cover. The Falcon was probably only half an inch long. So one Easter egg that Ian put in the book is so amazing, I just have to share it with you. So the Rise of Skywalker film includes a brief cameo from John Williams the famous composer um, who did the Star Wars score, along with other well-known scores like Jaws, Harry Potter, and E.T. So in the movie, he plays a grumpy bartender named Oma Trace. And Oma Trace doesn't speak in the movie, but Ian decided to give him this monologue. And part of what's so fun about Ian's books is that he gives you peeks into the heads of these characters who don't have much screen time and sometimes don't have any lines at all. So what Ian did is he hid the Star Wars musical theme in Oma's speech itself, encoding the melody into the dots above the uppercase, sorry, above the lowercase i's and over the uppercase o's <laughs> to represent music notes on a staff. So here you can see the notes superimposed over the text. The dotted i's represent eighth notes and the o's indicate either quarter notes or half notes. And when you turn the book 90 degrees counterclockwise, you can see the sheet music come to life. So I just thought that was truly incredible and there's so much more fun stuff inside. William Shakespeare's The Merry Rise of Skywalker comes out on July 28th and I can't wait for you to read it. Thanks for listening.